Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and as you can see on the screen, I have just measured the same property using a measuring tape, okay? And this is NTS, you can say not to scale, so never challenge it. Now I'm going to plot the same property in AutoCAD. I'll be using AutoCAD 2015, you can use any version, does not matter, okay? So I'll be teaching how we can import the same data or you can say the same triangulation. As you can see, I have measured this uh, using the principle of, uh, you can say triangulation and uh, this is going to be so simple okay the, the first thing which i'm going to do is actually the unit setup per date i'm going to type you in, in the command bar and then press enter for the length type let's say i'm going to have decimal system and then the insertion scale let's say this is feet okay however as you can see uh, i have just measured this in fps system okay the, the property in the fps system but i'll be using decimal system because this is going to be a little easy for me okay no problem okay so as you can see now, just look at to the uh, the map, okay? The, the manual sketch, you can say. This is just triangulation. I have been just converted the same property into triangles. You can say seven triangles, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven triangles, okay? Now, the the, 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 the thing which I'm gonna do is actually just for uh, to look for a reference line, okay? All lines can be referenced, does not matter, but the, the one which is little bit just you can say straight can be uh, a better line you can say okay in the same map as you can see 95 feet that is just a straight line you can say okay cannot be straight however but s something like maybe similar to a straight line okay so I'm going to type the same uh, you can say command which is L in the command bar for line and now I'm going to specify this first point you can say for the line okay I'm going to click over here and now as you can see this is just ortho r i'm going to just turn on the the ortho mode and then as you can see i'm going to type 95 okay for the same side i'm i'm not going to provide the the feet sign over here because my unit setup data is just decimal okay 95 means 95 uh feet okay and then press enter and press enter again to end the command now zoom extend by z space and e space as you can see this is the same line okay you can move it anywhere does not matter as you want now as you can see the the same triangles i'm going to draw each triangle separately okay let's focus on the triangle one okay just look at over here and the triangle one that is just 41 feet one side and another sign that is uh side i mean that is actually 109 feet and nine inches okay so let's just type c for the circle okay and then press enter now i'm going to start you can say specify the center point for the circle is the this end of the you can say line okay which is 95 feet okay just click over there and as you can see this is the circle now what I'm gonna do is actually to provide the radius is the length of the triangle which is 41 okay and then press enter that's done okay by pressing the space and let's specify the center point is this point you can say the other end of the line okay and let's drag the the mouse so we can see the circle now for the radius as you can see i'm going to provide the length of the same line okay the the length of the the line which is actually 109 feet and 9 inches so 109 and for 9 inches that is actually 0.75 okay and then press enter as you can see the circles actually intersect each other so i'm going to draw a line from the same intersection point and then let's join it over there okay and now i'm going to delete the the circles okay just zoom extend and let's delete these circles so i have the same triangle over here okay it's not a triangle you can make it a, a, a triangle you can say but i think this line does not matter over here what we have what we need is actually this line which is 41 feet okay next i'm going to draw the same line or you can say 25 feet in 108 okay the triangle 2 for that let's just type c in the command bar and press enter and let's start you can say specify the the circle center is actually this point okay the the end of a line which is 41 okay and for the radius let's say this is going to be 108 feet okay press enter and another circle which is actually from this a point okay this is going to be actually a, another point or you can say the center uh, for the same uh, circle and the radius is going to be 
25 feet okay and press enter as you can see the line are you can say the circles are intersecting each other over here okay and let's join them over there okay pretty cool now we can just delete these circles okay we are doing it okay as you can see we have done uh, some property that's cool okay let's just draw another circle for the uh, you can say triangle uh, 3 okay and the center is going to be this point and as you can see the radius is going to be 64 feet okay press enter and for the other you can say side of the triangle which is 134 feet and 9 inches I'm going to specify this point is the center okay and this is actually the the end of a line which is 41 feet okay so C space and let's specify that center and the radius is actually 134 feet and 9 inches 9 inches means 0.75 okay because I'm doing that in decimal system okay let's draw a line from this point till the intersection cool okay we can just delete the uh, circles okay pretty cool now I'm going to draw uh, triangle 4 okay uh, one side is 59 okay so let's draw a circle from this point the radius is going to be uh, 55 uh, 9 actually feet press enter and as you can see the the other side of the triangle is actually 148 feet and 6 inches okay and i'm going to just start a circle from this point okay see space from this point okay is the center and the length is actually 148 feet and 6 inches 6 inches means 0.5 okay feet and as you can see the intersection this is pretty cool okay i'm going to join that over there okay cool now i'm going to delete the circles as you can see we have done almost her property okay the triangle uh, uh fifth you can say okay number five and that one side is actually 132 so a circle and a center is this point and the radius can be 132 feet okay press enter as you can see the other side of the triangle is actually 71 feet and six inches okay a center can be this point okay or you can say the end of a line which is you can say 64 feet okay so this is a circle and the radius can be actually 71 feet and 6 inches 6 inches means uh, 0.5 okay press enter and let's just join the intersections okay from that point till this one okay great cool okay the property is just happening I mean it is shaping okay now triangle six okay a circle and this is going to be the center and as you can see we have 85 feet okay the one side 85 feet press enter and from this point we are going to have uh, actually 44 that is 44 feet okay so 44 and let's just join the intersections as you can see this is going to be the intersection all right we have another actually a last one okay our uh, triangle seven okay c space i'm going to provide the length uh, of the line 89 feet is the radius okay so 89 feet now second side of the triangle which is triangle seven that is 23 feet okay so c space from this point actually and i'm going to provide the length is 23 feet okay as you can see I have intersection over here okay we can join that over there and the same intersection to this point I'm going to delete the circles wow cool okay we have this property pretty cool property okay we can move it over there and let's just boundary it and then we can determine its area okay let's say this is boundary and you can type double a space in the command bar and you can say o space for object and let's select this object as you can see we have area okay this is actually we can just copy by control c and then right click over here and then let's say clipboard and then paste it over here okay and we can just scale it because that is so small okay as you can see this is 17910.9745 square feet okay so this is the property and I have already just uh, done a subdivision. Let me show you it over here. If you don't mind, okay, let's just jump into another AutoCAD, which is AutoCAD 
2007 okay I just use this because my computer is a little bit weak and it's already not responding okay so we can see the, the same property and what I have done in the same video and you can say the calculation okay let's see okay this is this is the same uh, you can say property okay let's check for the total area you can say double a space o space and click it over here as you can see that is 17 9 and 10 okay and in the same uh, autocad which is 2015 that is the same area okay i have already been uh, done the subdivision over here uh, okay uh, you can say uh, five plots okay uh, having parcel area is 3093.8 square feet okay so actually this is how we can uh, import the the manually major area okay uh, uh, into the AutoCAD using the, and this is known by the circle method okay what I had to do is actually to show you how we can plot the same property okay see you in the next video